All right, fam. So we are back at it again with another crazy video. Now today's video, this is anti-white TikTok compilation. Okay, I decided to react to this video uh, because it's a lot of things that I do want to say about this specific topic, uh, and I don't want y'all to think that this video will be 100% negative. It's not. So just stay to the end. You feel me? Get some positivity in there. You know what I'm saying? So without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Being your boy, the pan. I don't know why I'm doing my outro. Let me shut up. Okay, let's go. You have a token white and you're hanging out with your friend group of color. You need to ask permission from everybody in the group to bring your white friend. Like, don't just bring them. With them. I might not be in the mood to deal with white shenanigans that day. That's that's all I'm saying. And another thing, it feeds into their ego. Like, don't don't let them think they're a good white person. Accomplices ask, how can they support black and indigenous people of color? And sometimes I really don't know what to say, but here's one easy way. Just don't have babies. Women can single-handedly cause the white genocide that they are so afraid of. With 2.25 billion Asian women and half a billion white men, baby, it'll only take two generations. In two generations, there will no longer be any blonde haired. These are some things I noticed about white American culture. Being grounded is a punishment to them. That's what they call punishment. Mm. The least grounded, least balanced, most destructive race considers being grounded a punishment yeah they also say really violent phrases like they say things like kill two birds with one stone why do we have to kill the birds why is everything so violent it's almost like one's language and phrases reflects one's nature hmm. so that new uh jeffrey Dahmer movie on netflix is the perfect example of the sensationalization of white violence. People have a much easier time sympathizing with white criminals than they do with black victims. And people think these shows are harmless, but they actually contribute to a much bigger issue. It contributes to the viewpoint that white people are less violent than everyone else, and white violence is something to be consumed in media, and that's it. What is with Caucasian people and like their inability to like read a f room like y'all act like you don't understand sh because y'all be the first ones during a conversation about the holocaust to get so mad when black people be like you do realize that the original jewish people were black right white people do not need to explain to anybody about us all bleeding red because baby you all are the people that need to learn that lesson clearly history shows that you all are the people that like to pillage and eradicate enslave and oppress attempt to suppress greatness because you all simply don't have it right here go y'all come goblins who don't even live in the cities which by the way the q-tip people are the last ones to ever talk about somebody stealing anything y'all wouldn't be in this country had it not been. i didn't mean to pause it right here but i think this the mayonnaise lady the uh <laughs> i think <laughs> i think i reacted to one of her videos before and uh, she called white people mayonnaise monsters or something like that no that i don't know bro that took me out I never heard somebody say that. Out of all the names, I never heard mayonnaise monster. Anyways. Been for y'all stealing it. So y'all are more focused on people looting and trying to get necessities and things that they need. And yes, a TV is a necessity. Thank you. But you feel like you're better than because people are out here stealing and ugh, you would never. First of all, if you are a mayo monster, that is how your ancestors got everything from oh stealing. People are and that's a behavior that's very common among white women. You may have not intended that, but there are many white women who act exactly like you. If you can find it in your heart this holiday season <laughs> to donate to the discriminated white fund, you'd be helping millions. Nothing says high protein like cicadas and cheese. Make sure you... F and nothing says caucasity like that right there. What caucasity looks like. Roaming Asian grocery stores like it's an amusement park. Explain to me why white people don't wear shoes outdoor, but wear shoes inside. We're both white women. We are inherently a danger in spaces for black, indigenous, and other people of color simply by existing. It's white cis men who are a part of the far right wing ideology of fascism. That is a true threat and the terrorism to this country. If BIPOCs stand in the street and scream at the top of their lungs, 
I hate the white people. I want all white people to go <laughs> devil, you Um, that's still not racism. You're not one of the good white people. Okay. I, I, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, all that... This is nonsense. Okay, this is completely nonsense. I'm not finna finish the video. It's, I know it's like a minute left. I can't finish it. I'm sorry. Y'all can watch it on y'all own time if y'all really want to see all these negative people that what they have to say about white people. But I'm going to tell y'all straight up. For all the people in this video or for anybody who has anything against white people, what y'all need to do is learn how to forgive. Okay, look, granted, the history about white people ain't the best. Okay, it ain't the best. But who am I to go to a white person now and blame them for something that they didn't even do? Okay, they didn't have no control on what happened in history. They, people now don't, not saying all, okay, but most of the white people now don't even own slaves. Okay, and I'm speaking from, let's just talk about the America period. I don't know. It may be other places where they do still, I know slavery still going on in other countries and things like that, or maybe somewhere in America, whatever. I don't know too much about it, but what I was trying to say is that the white people that we see on a regular day-to-day -day basis, walking up and down the street, this and that, I don't believe that they even own slaves right now. So why are we blaming them for something that they did, that they had no control over? You see what I'm saying? The moment that we start to forgive each other, that's the moment we can find peace in America. We don't forgive each other. What we do is we we blame everybody because of what their ancestors did. Mostly white people. We blame them because of what their ancestors did. You feel me? Don't get me wrong. Racism still alive today. There are some people who are still racist towards black people, who are still racist towards Asians. People are even racist towards white people. And I tell these people 24-7, day, day after day after day after day, forgive Y'all need to learn how to forgive because I can't blame somebody for doing something to my ancestors when I don't even know my ancestors myself. You know what I'm saying? That's point blank period. We have so much hate in our heart towards white people and it's like, why? Why? You know what I'm saying? The, the least that we can do is trying to make America better again, make America great again. We can't even do that. We have unforgiveness towards a group of people that had no control over what happened in history. It's sad what happened to black people in history. That is true. It's sad that that happened. But now that we are in the present, I mean, seriously, times have changed. Times have got better. You don't, you could share a bathroom with a white person now. You can drink out the same faucet as a white person now. Your landlord could be white and they will still give you an apartment and you're black. Times have literally got better and it has changed. You feel me? So why are we still trying to make it seem like we're still living in this living in this country where we got to watch our back every second for our master and we got, you know what I'm saying, we don't want to get whipped and we can't do this and we can't do that. Like, bro, we're not living in that type of country no more. I can walk Chicago freely. I can walk California free, freely. You know what I'm saying? I can walk parts of Alabama freely. <laughs> I can, I said parts, okay? I, but I can still walk around freely without having to worry about what this white person gonna do to me? What this white person, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just not worried. You feel me? I don't fear no man. I only fear God. That's the only man that I fear. I don't fear no, no man that is here physically. I don't fear nobody that's on this earth. The only person I could fear and the only person I will continue to fear is God. We need to learn how to forgive each other, bro. So all this white nonsense, all this white this and white that and black, and white people this and white people that and black people this and black people that. Bro, stop it. Stop it. It is... It, 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 it is ridiculous. It is getting out of hand. We are in 2023. Y'all need to grow up. Seriously. The what? All that nonsense that you're doing, calling white people mayo monsters and all this nonsense and saying that uh, if a black person come up and say that they hate white people on top of their lungs, devils, white devils, all this, and that's not racist, bro. That is completely racist, bro. Because if y'all to do that to a black person, bro, that would have been racist. So how is it not racist if we do it to y'all? Bro, come on, man. We can't be hypocrites when it comes to this. Oh, yeah, I can say this to a white person. That's not racist. But they can't say this to me. That's racist. That's hypocritical, bro. Stop being hypocrites and y'all need to love one another. That's the reason why America is falling apart. That's the reason why we can't be united. We are so divided because we're not loving one another as we're supposed to love each other. The Bible say, love one another as you love thyself. Love your neighbor. 
as you love thyself. Like, that's what we're supposed to be doing 24 7. That's the reason why America's so divided. That's the reason why this country is just splitting apart each and every day is because we don't, even, we can't even take that one simple, that one simple commandment and just love one another. We can't do it. I love white people. I love Asians. I love black people. I love Hispanics. I love all races, all cultures. I love them all. I don't have no hate in my heart. And the funny thing about it, half of these people that's making this video, they even go through nothing with white people. They only going based off what they read in the history book. That's what they going off. Or they going off basically what the news put out there for us to see. They, they, they have had no bad encounter with white people. I guarantee 90% of the people that's on this video right now didn't have not one bad experience with a white person. They just, oh, whoa, they showed on the news. These people are pigs. These people are this. These people are that. Like, bro, just stop it. Stop it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below, man. Um, I love each and every one of y'all, man. Y'all need to love each and every one of whoever. <laughs> y'all need to love. You feel me? But I love each and every one of y'all from the bottom of my heart, man. Uh, I appreciate y'all stopping by. Subscribe to the second channel. It's in the link description box below. What I have to do is be your boy, the pan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.